So today we're gonna talk about something that makes me lose all of my remaining brain cells because I will present to you guys a brand new article on Kourtney Kardashian's website where she basically creates a whole new sexuality for herself. It's gonna get extremely dumb and ironically hilarious today. So if you're enjoying these style of videos and wanna see more, please consider leaving a like and a sub if you haven't already and yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm assuming most people are aware of who Kourtney Kardashian is. For those who aren't, to briefly describe her, she basically got famous for being a part of the Kardashian family and through that starring in the massive American reality TV show Keeping Up With The Kardashians. I'm sure almost everybody has heard about that show at some point. Fear Theoretically, she's also a model, but realistically speaking, the only reason why anyone knows her is that she is a Kardashian. Due to her celebrity status, she's absolutely massive on all social media platforms. And she also has a website, where she usually posts stuff about her lifestyle. It's just generic lifestyle stuff a lot of millennials or just hard fans of her like to look at. The newest articles are all stuff like this. Skinny vegan pesto spaghetti squash, how to make roasted chestnuts. By the way, I don't believe for a second that these recipes or life hacks actually come from Kourtney Kardashian. She obviously has a team posting those for her. I even doubt that she's able to cook anything to be honest. But that's not what we're here for today. Even though I'd love to take the piss at the uselessness of most of these articles. Exclusive sneak peek at the Kardashians Christmas wrapping. Wow, that's groundbreaking journalism right there. Anyway, so in the article we're gonna look at, Kourtney Kardashian discusses her autosexuality and being turned on by herself. Are these entitled celebrity serious man? That's called narcissism. Being attracted to yourself is not a sexuality. That's just smug. People need to stop making up new sexualities man. I mean, have you ever seen someone going around claiming that they are autosexual? I don't think so. I believe she just invented the term for herself. You can be hetero, homosexual, pansexual, bisexual, asexual, etc. You can be sexually oriented to any group of people really and it doesn't matter who you are attracted to. All of these sexual orientations are completely fine but you can absolutely not be autosexual. Being turned on by yourself is not a sexuality. Especially if you're still turned on by other people as well. Why does it have to be these massive celebrities that go around making up sexual orientations? Because you know there's gonna be all these fans who will be supportive of her outing. I can even imagine this as a moment on that horrible Keeping Up With The Kardashians reality TV show. Guys, I have to tell you something. I'm not attracted to men. I'm not attracted to women. I'm not attracted to anyone. I'm a narcissist. Uh, I mean, I'm autosexual. Even though I've dated multiple other people before. Okay, so how does she support her outing? Are you autosexual? The short answer is yes, most likely. In fact, we all are. At least a little. Most likely. She isn't even 100% sure. Probably because she'll end up refuting her statements later on so she can still have public relationships with other men. And I'm sorry, but how can this woman claim everyone is a little autosexual? I have certainly had phases where I hit the gym more often and thought to myself, if I were a girl, I'd... But that doesn't mean I'd go on to fuck myself and claim I'm autosexual. So no, I don't think everyone is an autosexual. I just think that Kourtney Kardashian is so disconnected from reality that she actually believes she is an advocate for autosexuals or something. But you can absolutely not compare this with outing yourself as gay or as bi or as anything else. Because that takes a lot of courage and should be respected especially because some people still sadly are not accepting of these people. But if you're going around saying you outed yourself as an autosexual, it's just not the same. You're basically disrespecting these other people that out them Himself as a valid sexuality by making up your own. A prime example of this is simply women in general. You heard it here first lads. No female person is ever dissatisfied with their body. If they claim that, they're lying. <laughs> this is such a moronic statement man. Even though one might find themselves attractive, that doesn't mean that they would please themselves, to keep this family friendly, in front of the mirror looking at themselves or by looking at a picture of themselves. It's always eye-opening seeing what decades of fame that you never had to work for in the first place due to the ego of a person. While it may not be true for everyone, 
we generally feel more sexual and turned on when we feel ourselves are sexy. So in the next sentence right after that, she says it's not everyone, even though she just claimed like five seconds ago every woman is autosexual. Perhaps she realized that what she said was ridiculously dumb, which just shows that she has no idea what she's even talking about. She should have just sticked with making other people write articles for her. And no, I think the vast majority of people get turned on by other people and not by themselves, like she seems to think. While masturbation is the most obvious example, autosexuality may extend beyond sexual behavior to include a feeling, a longing or desire for oneself. There's a massive difference between I would fuck myself so bad if I were whoever and I wanna fuck myself as myself right now. You can't have a desire for yourself. You're not chasing after yourself. That's physically not possible. You can't have a desire for something that's always there. This post doesn't specifically state if Courtney considered herself completely autosexual or not, but I'm just gonna assume that she just believes she's partially autosexual because she publicly dated men before and I hardly believe that she was hiding her sexuality. So all she's saying is, I'm also attracted to myself. I also want to make myself look good. Why is this even considered an outing? This is not anything that is remotely connected to a sexuality. It can also be the ability to turn oneself on through looking at, visualizing, touching or smelling oneself. This gets more ridiculous from line to line. Smelling yourself. You get horny from smelling yourself. How are people taking this outing seriously? There you have it, insults watching in order to turn a woman on. Just make her smell herself. I refuse to believe that there are people out there that smell themselves, touch themselves, and then jack off to themselves in front of the mirror or by looking at a picture of themselves. Tanner tells us that, like most human characteristics, autosexuality is a spectrum and the majority of us are on it. Some may identify as exclusively autosexual, in which case they might consider autosexuality their sexual orientation. Okay, so Tanner, who they introduced as a LGBTQ sex therapist, claims that you can be exclusively autosexual, meaning you have no sexual interaction with anyone. What you're describing is asexuality, except that you're basically masturbating to yourself. Yeah, how strong of you to come forward? It could mean doing your hair and makeup so that you feel good and turned on, even when you've been in a long-term relationship and the other party hardly notices. It could mean washing yourself lovingly in the bath and generally enjoying your body. It could mean dancing in the mirror in a cute outfit. If feeling sexy independent of someone else has ever turned you on, that's all the sexuality and it's totally normal. You see, I actually feel like this is all fine, enjoying your body and making yourself feel good if you want to. That's absolutely okay. I would even encourage you to. But don't make it out to be some weird sexual orientation. You don't have to come up with a new sexuality for everything you do. It's the same with the conclusion of the article. It really takes us into a comfortable, relaxed space when we find our own sexuality to be attractive. We are sensual beings, so depending on our own sensuality instead of relying solely on others to turn us on has profound power. It takes the pressure off of partnered sex and it brings so much pleasure to our time. Ahem, alone. Wherever you land on the spectrum of autosexuality, none of it is wrong. Enjoy yourself, literally. Like this would all be such a positive message if they didn't try to paint it as a new sexuality. You cannot only be attracted to yourself. People don't smell themselves or masturbate to themselves in front of the mirror. That is not a sexual orientation. Regardless if you wanna make yourself feel good by putting on some makeup or doing anything else really to present yourself more attractively, feel completely free to do that. But please don't try to paint it as a sexuality coming out story. That's the message I wanna bring with this video. So yeah, what I'm basically saying is, please just don't keep on making up sexual orientations and outing stories just for some attention. I feel like this is kind of disrespectful to people that actually outed themselves. A gay outing or a trans outing or whatever outing is a very impactful event. And I feel like trying to compare these outings to this article here, it really just shows a huge contrast between what an actual sexuality looks like and what Kourtney Kardashian thinks her sexual orientation is. So yeah, this is the end of the video. This was a pretty dumb article, even though I tried to get a general positive message across at the end. If you enjoy my videos, please leave a like or write me a comment and don't forget to subscribe and we'll see each other at the next video.